our friend's dump trailer was stolen in Charlotte, North Carolina a few days ago. Uh, please help us to get this trailer returned to him. Okay, I wanted to start off this video uh, with another important announcement about some more terrible people in the world. So I figured since we just made the scam video, we might as well put this out there too. Um, ever since I can remember from the first day I bought my dump trailer. Look yeah, at this boy. thing. This is a money making machine, boys. Our personal dump trailer that we use. Uh, I've had this unnatural fear of it being stolen off of a job site or somebody's yard or my own yard. And I actually installed a camera back here so when I'm away on trips, I can look every day and see if it's still there, just in the yard. And I've used different kinds of locks and stuff like that. So one night, I can remember when we had the dump trailer on a job in Pleasantville, I think it was. Uh, I kind of like just woke up. Not really woke up because I was already awake, but I kind of sat up in bed and was like, I can't leave my trailer there. I have this really bad feeling. So we drove, got it, brought it back. Uh, and yeah, ever since that, every time it's been out away from the house, I I've been afraid of somebody trying to steal it. Um, and apparently this fear isn't that unnatural. So my friend who used to live around here his name's Cody. He does tree removal for his business. So he recently, not too long ago, bought has it bought a dump trailer. Um, it's almost similar to the one that we have. Uh, I don't think it's as long and the walls are higher, but it's uh, around the same trailer. It's close to the same trailer. So I can relate to this on a heavy level. And a few days ago, about two days ago, he had it on a job. It was filled up with grass, I should say like branches and trimmings from a tree. It wasn't like a whole tree, but it was filled up with tree trimmings sitting on a job with a lock on it. Um, and some guy rolled up. Okay, so I should say this. Dump trailers run, you know, anywhere from like four to 6,000 to get the good one, around 5,000 or more. Uh, to buy a new trailer that dumps a good one so you figure that's you know big investment you could buy a truck for that price almost uh, so he sent me the video it got stolen this was in Charlotte North Carolina um, I'm going to show you guys the video right now so it's, the guys literally backs up to it he takes you know basically just a crowbar to pop the lock off done easy throws the clear bar and the lock back in his truck he's doing this all on camera mind you. so he winds it down gets it uh he's trying to move the trailer which to me makes absolutely no sense obviously he's not that used to using a dump trailer because you, you can't physically move a dump trailer with your hands so he decides okay maybe uh, he's looking to see if anybody's around this guy's a straight up thief. Like he didn't just do this on a whim, this was a planned job. So he's pulling it up, backing it up. Either way, that was the whole video. I'm gonna include it in the edit. But yeah, this guy straight up just sold uh, our friend Cody's trailer 
just right off a job site. Um, so there's a photo of his truck and the trailer attached to the guy who stole its truck. And there's a picture of uh, as as good as we could get or he could get of the guy's face. And he is wearing a facial covering like a mask. Uh, but the hopes here are he's hoping by spreading the word that somebody will see the trailer and truck and the guy maybe or he's trying to sell the trailer and the person you know he's trying to sell it to might be like oh I know that trailer you stole that and then just return it so what I'm hoping to do here is to get this more press and to get it out to more people so that more people see it and hopefully the trailer is returned um, I know Cody he's a hard-working guy he doesn't deserve to have his things stolen he put a lot of work and time and effort into this and it does feel almost similar to you know how we were put so much time and effort into <sighs> everything and then they're just using our faces for a scam i just couldn't imagine having my dump trailer stolen it's one of my biggest fears and it, if you use a trailer like that often you know how much it makes your life easier look at that dream by being able to dump it especially if you're doing tree removal so please anyone in the charlotte north carolina area uh, who has a Facebook or Instagram share around this video I can add uh, I can add to a link to a Facebook link I guess that I can put on my page uh, if you guys want to share it but hopefully we get the trailer back so I just wanted to put that out here real quick in the beginning of the video uh, this guy that stole the trailer deserves to be you know arrested and charged with you know grand grand theft basically grand theft auto I mean a trailer is on some levels the equivalent of a work truck to many people out there um, and I know a lot of people who work for a living who do construction or outdoor work and work with their hands and do manual labor this is literally the ultimate insult to have one of your pieces of equipment stolen it happened to my dad when I was younger uh, one of his bobcats were stolen off a job and he never got the never got the uh, equipment back but today we have uh, more access to technology. He has a video of the guy thankfully and the guy's truck uh, So with social media, we're hoping we can get the word out spread it far enough Let the tentacle sink in and get this trailer back anything you guys can do to help and if not You know, maybe leave a comment or something a suggestion of how we could go about getting it back I'm Just gonna try to enjoy my coffee and then get along with my day uh, Enjoy the rest of the video guys. We'll see you in the See you in a minute, but coffee before claims. Nothing going on. Where? Uh, on our street, but not our dirt. It's the same street as ours, but it's the block over. All right. We never had the yard sales. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we bring you the first yard sale ever on our street in the history of yard sailing and look how big it is oh my god you're right it is we've had yard sales but no one else on no our street does oh my god i never thought about wow, that wow they're going big dog though hang on can't look at this did they sell their house yeah they're about to live in that trailer just no but they might have sold it because Definitely the value is so house. high now but all right woke up this morning Jones in for some Checking out this sales. paper in the classified section. Saw a demo sale in Ocean City at a cool looking house that we wanted to check out. Um, so then we started driving and we saw this sign for the yard sale. So we're here. You know what they say. Coffee before claims. I took the baby yet. Then we gotta have a bench trash. Turn around, show the sale. Yeah, we couldn't do it anyway. First sale on our street. Ever. Let's see what we got. It's a cool helmet. That's a shark helmet. Shark stick. Like in these prices that it. Outside. You know I don't know. Well, they'll put a cat out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Anything? That's got about 20 places. Yeah, 
cheap, cheap, good pricing here. Five bucks for these guys, wooden. Look at these. This guy's five. Okay. Hey, you need a coffee table? Not the table, but I'm thinking about buying these guys. I like this coffee table, but mm. ooh, if they saw our house, they'd know we don't need a coffee table. These? This is a really nice one, though. Nah, we're not get that. It's so big. You can sleep on this thing. How much coffee are you drinking on here? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> These are the good prices. I like that. Yeah. Too true. Game night. <laughs> this, though? It's really cool. That's why it's 20, though, because it's the gold. This is really cool. For the baby's balls. Oh, Alright, I'll take it half price on this. Yep, done. <laughs> Alright. I like to give my cats fancy bowls. Oh, uh, that's cool. <laughs> that's from like the shop. Our water bowls are that's yeah. from the shop. This one for, uh, these are five, right? Yep, for the set. Yeah. Cool, thank you. That's a real bowl. Yeah. Bajor. Valley of the Kings. Sunshine and Gods. Yeah. <laughs> where is that? And especially this house. I've never even saw the people that lived here before. Ever. They, they were. We just bought it in July. Yeah, they were, and um, they didn't live here for a couple of years. Their kid, exactly. one of their daughters, actually rented it from them because they had a smaller place. Okay. So. Yeah. No, this is a really nice house. Yeah. Like they always that. kept. Yeah, they kept it. They kept. It was a military so guy, beautiful. so it was, you yeah. know. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah. They did. So everything had to be just it's so, amazing. you know. No, it's good. I they have like that. a pool in the back. Everything's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Out, so nice. That makes sense, though. Yep. Is this a Shasta trailer? Yes, it is. It is. 67. Star are you, no, are you gonna? Wait, are, you re, like are you re? Are you repurposing? Like redoing it? I was going it? to, but we might be selling it. Yeah. 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 I always wanted to get one. But. Got it and the, the, all the um, there's some there's some the like framing was some, rotted, yeah. so we have to reframe it and like all sorts of stuff. Yeah. But it's a lot of work, you know. I just don't know if I'm gonna get to it or not. Right. You know, that we was have the a, a big traumatizing one in our backyard. Yeah. It's not a classic though. Like it's not this. like yeah. this though. And actually, it was our friend who got it for like. You didn't look at it all the This is the dream though, kind of. Oh, it's like totally empty. Wow, it's cool though. Wow, it's cool though, huh? Oh yeah, you can, uh, you're more than welcome to. You should fix it up. I was gonna just, you know, I just haven't had the time. Uh, yeah, I mean. You know? When do you ever have the time, right? Isn't that, you know, I mean. It's like the perfect size though. It, it is, you know, because it's supposed to have the table on this side and then a bed on that side is how it's supposed to be. And just when they get too big, it's yep. just they become so obnoxious. No, and this thing's like, like a thousand pounds. Yeah. So like she's a Subaru, she can pull this. Like we have the window for there and it's just fixing this framing really back there or some of the framing, you know. I'm debating whether to sell it or fix it. It's just, you know, I haven't had the time and it's been had it a while, you know. Yeah, I got you. And stuff. And it's got a I have a um, like a tourist trailer. Yep. It's bigger than this, and it's not as classic. But I'm thinking about transforming it into like a podcasting studio oh, nice. kind of thing. Nice. Because we do like YouTube videos already. Nice. That's cool. Uh, so maybe I'll yeah. say. But same as you. Like I never have time to. Yeah, you know how it is. You know. Do everything. But I got the same thing going. I'm like we store stuff in there. Yep. Well, it's actually just we keep our we lock it because we keep this is all camping stuff. Yeah. yeah all the time so it's all just camping stuff we love to camp and that's why we got this so that we'd have like a base camp when we go yeah no, and for stuff. sure you it's know all, it's actually awesome you know 
moldy. It's funny when I got it, like, you know, it was all clean. But, you know. This is, you could just power wash it, though, I'm sure, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. She used to have a house on Pearson, which is behind that Kmart that was sold. Okay. And then I, had, I know, yeah, that's right next to where my wife grew up on Johnson, right on next to that. Okay, yeah, yep. Right yeah, there. so she had a little tiny greenhouse on Pearson. Okay. Like a Florida Keys house. And I have a place in Manasquan, too, so that we're renting, you know, which is north of there. Yeah, like And we bought this place that, yeah. If you did sell it, would you, how much, do you know a price? somewhere around there okay i might be interested so it's, if you end up selling it let me know if you're really interested uh, come knock on the door yeah, okay you know, yeah i live here this is the house you know i have the white pickup see the white pickup you know it's here it's a dodge out there perfect you know? yeah maybe yeah. yeah but maybe you'll end up keeping it so yeah but i'm know. tucker yeah jeff nice to meet you bro yeah. yep I think you guys should still do it. Yeah. Me I too. Think there's an too. Thank you. I would do it. I mean, yeah, it's a burden, but that's the fun of it. Yep. Or we'll do it and buy it off them. No, the fuck, we won't. We yeah, got we the, will. <laughs> the camera. We still, have the, <laughs> we still have the big trailer in our backyard. Yeah, but yeah. this is the one, one we can actually take around and go to like flea markets and stuff. It is perfect. And size. we can put Sissy in there. Sis. Rue, at least. Yeah. Rue, maybe. Yeah. Bring She's one of our cats around. Lately. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, so you never know what you're going to find from stopping at a sale. I got these two bookends, and they actually have screw holes there and there so they could be attached to a wall or something, a shelf, whatever. But potential lead on the Shasta trailer which is secretly the trailer we always wanted me personally that but, uh, trailer is heaven like if that other one wasn't in our yard yeah the other one's heaven and that one next to it heaven and then where's our poor dump trailer is going to be kicked next off to, to that. the side we'll bring the greenie out let me just give her this card and then we'll take out the trailer and get rid of it Put the greenie on the other the side. Moms. Was that the both of their moms? Yeah, and they were loving it. They are classic. Everything's half off. Love them. All right, we found the sale. It's kind of insane because, like, Ocean City, the town next to where we live that's closest to the beach, the culture of the city is changing because they're tearing down all the old houses, like this one, to build these ones that are duplex houses and they're all vinyl sided and plastic basically where the old wood classic house see the pillars and everything i'll show you guys a closer look those houses are disappearing fast so this is a demo sale meaning whoever bought this place is just ripping it down to build something else that's probably not as nice and probably more obnoxious so that probably fits like 100 people mm -hmm. so they can gobble up that money Sometimes these old houses need to be not like they need to be torn down, but it's sometimes it's easier to start fresh because sometimes it's just rotted out. Yeah. Yeah. Everything must go. Everything. Oh, because this is a huge lot. That's uh, yeah. what it is. It Look is at this big. place. It's too good though. Over here. Yeah. Oh my god, is this the yard though? Here, let this guy go. <laughs> yeah. We can check that out first. You want to? Yeah. Shit, this is a big lot though. Yeah, the detached garage is super nice to have. Super nice. But they're just gonna tear it down. I don't know. Maybe not the garage. That's not bad. That's so cheap. This thing? Look at this. It's a bag mower. Alright, that's huh? for me. Alright, well, bits and cash should a couple things. Why no, I'm good. Yeah, less. Yeah. No, thank you. This thing. Less is more. Yes, okay. This You're of that generation. <laughs> 
We're not. More You're is not. more is more. More adds rice what we believe. Beautiful. That's the old fashioned way. You gotta hoard it. <laughs> hoard it all. Until you can't fit anything else. Until you can't put one more screw in there. I'll tell you what, I, I think I qualify. Uh, at least I have. I'm going the other way now though. I'm going to the other side, get rid of stuff. You're going to the well, dark side. Because I feel yeah. like yeah. once you start to get older it's just it's too much. Oh well that's to be on the house. You know, we, you know, kept it so long, I can't keep up with it, so it's... It's a cool house, though. You're oh, moving, it is. though? It is. What's that? You're leaving? Oh, yeah, I'm going, you know. Where? Well, I, I actually live on a farm down near Vineland. Oh, okay. You know, so... So you're we're just... just so we really space. do live there, and, um, you know, so it's not too big a deal, but the big deal is, you know, my family grew up in this town and all that, and we're, we're done with it, you know. So my kids, you know, um, may come here once in a while, but... You know they're they're off all over the place. So. But you're still yeah. close, so you can come down here. Yeah. Whenever. You still feel you feel as though the town changed a lot since you were younger. Not not significant. I've only been well. I, oh, okay. So I'm 40 years. I've been in the town 40 years. Um, That's a long time now. Well, it is, but not when you're my age. You know. So I spent the first 20, almost 30 years elsewhere. You know, and um, so we've lived here time to time. I've lived in Vineland and Newfield in California for a year. You know, and all these places, but. Um, in my opinion, the town is pretty much the way it was, you know, I, and I haven't seen a significant change in 40 years, other than the fact that they take little houses down, put big houses up, but, you know, that's for progress, they say. You know. Yeah, they, they say. say. They say. Yeah. It feels better when it, there's old beds, so. though. Oh, I, I'm with you all the way, but, you know, people age out. So if we had you young folks come in and say, we want this house, we'll buy it, we'll fix it up. You know, you have the energy to do that. The problem is the value yeah. of the property without the house is too high for people like us to buy in Ocean City. And that's what my kids yeah. were telling me. But I, it depends on where you are now. My kids uh, said, Dad, we can't buy a house, we can't buy And they said that for years. So they all now have houses, by the way. And, and I said, it's not true because they make so much more than we so you know when I started working I was working for 10 grand a year you know at 22 years old that's where I was I was a teacher at the time. and 10 grand you know and you know and I was able to buy stuff and thing is now my kids they work for 100 grand a year yeah so they can they can buy stuff too and they finally put on and they did but they rented for years yeah well we got the next best thing we bought a house in Summers Point and that's so what, we yeah. love it over there yeah. I but grew up for, in Ocean City, though, on over on um, Ocean Avenue, yeah. Fourth and Ocean, when yeah. Bakley's used to be there. I don't know if you remember. I don't know Bakley's, but no Fourth and Ocean. Like where the ice cream shop is, that like block. Yeah. Grew up in a little cottage, but the cottage is still there. I've, I've been back there. Somebody was actually like uh, redoing it. This lady's daughter. So I was like, can I just take a peek in there and <laughs> see? But it was it's it's the same. She's just fixing it up. Yeah. I was saying, I hope they like don't ever knock that down. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it the it's the cutting edge of human society to build the biggest vinyl sided house you yeah, can but, fit on the lot, right? But you know what's neat? They're building smaller houses now than they were fifteen years ago. You know, not in Ocean City now. But, yeah. but you know, you go to the developments in you know, Marmora or Apover Township or whatever, they were building what I would call track mansions. They were building as big as they can. Everybody wants a three thousand or more square foot house. Who can clean that? Then? Now they're they're stepping it down a little bit. Now they're going for like twenty five hundred, you know. And which is still big for a minute. Which is still big, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. But so I think maybe so that's people are starting to think a little bit like okay, when you gotta heat it, you gotta pay the taxes. You, you, taxes you gotta clean it. it though and you keep gotta, up with it. Like you even I'm it, a, we're only thirty but like yeah. I'm tired and we don't even have it's just a one story house. So but it, it you yeah. get tired yeah. when you actually, you know and that's what up. and that's what my wife said. We we moved out of the three thousand. We did have a three thousand square foot. You have a lot of stairs too. And, and we moved into a rancher that's about fifteen hundred square feet. She loves it. It's know. just easier. Yeah. Because even when we stayed we stayed in an Airbnb and it had stairs and I was like, oof, thank God we but don't. But you have get stairs. used to them. And when you get older, you need stairs because it keeps you in shape. That's Sorry, true. Mom it forces says. you like <laughs> if you want right. to go to bed, you got to work for it. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly that's what true. my mom says too, because she has stairs. This yeah. This is true. But we'll check it out. Yeah. This is pretty nice. Nah, you're never gonna get the uh, even the fixtures from the house. You need a player piano? You ask about anything. Woo! 
Nobody needs that piano, though. If you could, like, snap your fingers and the piano would be at the house. If you could snap your fingers and then it would be back out of your house once you put it in there, that would be the goal. Oh, they got the deal, though. Come on, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's I, right. <laughs> I knew they tore them down. Yeah, yeah. but you Look can't have it. Look yeah. this color. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Everybody likes Oop. that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's coming back. I love the color. Yeah. It used to be a dark blue. Thank you. I like the bright teal. Oh, I can see. Yeah, it used to be a Look at this sink, floor. dude. Oh my gosh, this sink. All right, you where's the claw-footed tub? Where's the claw footed top? Sorry. That's Where's the great. claw footed top? The claw, is it? That, you know what's weird though? Okay. A lot of, like the, the cottage on ocean, small bathroom like that too. Look at this wallpaper though. So small. This is how you keep it classic. Get that. And yeah, is this a... These prices are decent what good though. What is this though? Do you know? Stainless steel. That's got, what's that one? That's ceramic. These are stainless. The best are the um, cast iron, I think. Yeah. This is a cool pot, though. What is this? Uh, I just made it in Spain. I would get this set. Right? Yeah. I mean, this is perfect size because it's not. Uh, Remember the one pot that you got that was like this? Real I have it thick? Still, the pink one. This is porcelain, right? What is this? That is probably an inexpensive metal with, uh, like, they bake that on. Do you think it's safe to cook on? Turn around, let me see what's like. Uh, anytime you have any openings like that, you know, bacteria could get it, but it won't kill you. But, I mean, it shouldn't have that kind of wear, really. Somebody's used it a lot. Yeah. But it's cute. She's true. It I mean, is if you nice. just, like, make eggs in it or something, it won't hurt anything. She knows pots. She knows pots. All right, so I'm going to Maybe pets, but they look cool. They look really cool. Thank you, though. Somebody bought this, huh? Freedom to dream. Yeah. Yeah. We changed it. That's the whole point, right? <clears throat> so I've always believed. Dream big. Let your wings spread. Fly. No claw-footed tub. Nah, got some lacquer though, 15 bucks. Oh, it's not, it's actually just wood. $20 for this bed, that's a good deal. Small little closet though, huh? And this is my husband Turner. Okay. My husband's this here somewhere good. too down there. Oh, he wouldn't around. come up. He wouldn't come up. He's not a He's drunk not person. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you want this bed? Kind of for twenty bucks. Look at this. And that's great. You know what else? If you get some uh, barkeeper's friend, it's called. It, it, it's like a cleanser. It's a cleanser. You get familiar with it? Like Acme would have it. Or? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We've had it before. Put that on the bottom, and I'll take all that right off. Really? That's just somebody. Sure. We'll take it off. The tips. I might just do that with all it'll the look, pots. It'll just look better. <laughs> yeah. But that's real good for polishing um, copper and things like that. Bar okay. Barkeeper's friend as well. Anything stainless steel makes it. That's a cute little bit. Um, it is for $20. They want to hear What's the price on these? Q-tips. And some Listerine. 1990. So this is the place. I don't know. It's an old, pretty old house. They bought it. Sold. They bought all the doors. 
I would buy those doors too. Buy the contractor. Buy these. I'm sure it's sell. I mean, you probably have to come back. How would you get that off of there? With like a, a little pick and a, a hammer. Are they for sale or are they sold? They sold all that front door and also they're taking it all off. You know. We should get some of those. Who's the guy that determines the price? Uh, I don't know if you noticed he's downstairs. Oh, the guy we talked to when we came. Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beers. Oh. Even this. Beer? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see what he says. I got this. Yeah. Look, could have told her I got a roll of it right here. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, she didn't want it. It wasn't enough, no, right? She, she wanted enough she, to do the whole. She room. wanted the whole shebang. Yeah, who wouldn't though? At that rate. Right. There he is. There he is. Yeah. There, did someone buy the square the corners? Yeah, there's like a, a lot throughout the house. Um see it all above. I know just what you're talking about. No, I my son's gonna take the molding, but I don't think he needs the corners. And I will double check it. Okay. Um so are you, are you, do you want them? You want some of them? You want all of them? Well, how much would they be, you think? For all, I don't know how many there is. I don't know how many are here, you know, buck or two a piece, something like that, you know. I'm not... So could I give you like my, my number and then you can just text or call me and, and if he's like, yeah, I want them, just whatever, let's, don't let's call do me. That. Yeah, okay. By all means, yeah. All right, so here's the pricing range here, three chairs. Wooden chairs for 20. This is the second level of the sale here. So, let's check it out. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Welcome, guys. Look around. Everything's available for sale. Oh, this is like a. For short people, dude, Yuri would never be able to be walking around. Go no, he'd be so pissed. Look how smart okay, this guys. is, though. Have fun. For hanging okay. everything. Alrighty. So <laughs> smart, but it's particle boarding. It's just, yeah, it's like that stuff that you would see in like an old hardware store. The only problem with this TV, though, with that is if like it's not, uh, you don't have like a humidifier or something. It, 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 look at this fly right here, just cleaning his hands. He's chilling. But the only thing is, if you don't have one of those, I feel like it would suck in the moisture. Nah. Any moisture. Not really. Maybe. I mean, in New Jersey, everything would suck in the moisture. Yeah, that's true. Mm, it's so, so moist. Go through. Every room has stuff. Oh, my God. It smells like, um... It's like Hogwarts in here. Could you imagine this dress up for $10, though? So good of a deal, but so good. Like if you're dressers are so cool. Oh, wow, this is uh, interesting. Wow, I would just make this into my closet. Look at this mirror. I know you're kind of a mirror person. You want this antique mirror for two? Yeah, they're so tiny. You want yeah. this? I mean, ours. Two bucks? Yeah. For real, right? You're gonna have to save this one real good. It's got some spirits attached to it. Probably not. I'm not liking it. Uh, I'm liking it. Wow, that table under there is nice. Wow. Sold, obviously. <laughs> You're getting all this? What are those? They're getting you? They're getting me. What are those for? Here you go. You oh, oh, this. oh, oh, this too. Wow. What is that? Not this. 
Oh, wow. The radiator. That's actually really cool because there was one in the cottage too, but it wasn't like that. No, I've seen a lot of these before and they're never like this. I know. I recall you uh, having to take one out of a house. You had to bash it into pieces. And it wasn't nearly that quality. And it was so heavy. That's nice. This one's got a lot of detail. All right, the same guy who bought all the doors, he bought the radiator, so he does industrial salvage, obviously. We just pulled up alongside this. Do you want this? I didn't see it yet. Do you want this? Just peep it out and tell me if you like it. Look at this live edge piece of wood that I just scored. You like that? Or not? What's in here? What is that? Oh, oh. What was it? It's like a, some, meal. something that was uh, temperature sensitive, I guess you would say. Meal Meals to go, right? Do you want that live edge though? Oh yeah. That's a big dog score. I mean, if you don't sell it yet. But no, yeah, this would be a cool project to like sand it, stain it. it could What's the little to... buggy on the back? Here, hold it up. Oh! Hey, who's that? It's a caterpillar. Put him in the back. We're transporting him. No, we're not. Really? We well, where's he gonna live here? We gotta just get him oh, off of here. Oh, somebody squished him. Oh, no, he's alive. He's alive. That's just poo. That is. Like a bird shit. Oh well. <laughs> I've seen work. You want me to hold it up? Let's go. Just be careful. This is a nice piece. right? Yeah, how'd you even spot that? Uh, like how Cyclops, like, <laughs> in the X-Men has like, Razor vision, like I have vision for just like scores. Like I can just see like all the way down there, seven streets down on the right side. Next Come on, boys, stop acting There's crazy in the sound way. We gotta go. <laughs> okay, this is kind of a strange request, uh, but we've gotten some like this before. So I had a DVD lot on Facebook Marketplace for $20. Uh, figured it came from a storage unit, and that extra 20 bucks would you know, make a difference as to not just get rid of the DVDs because they're not worth much. Um, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And this guy messaged me today and asked if I could bring them to where he lives basically, or the, the bank next to his house, um, which is kind of an inconvenience. But I started to think about it and he's obviously living in the because he first wanted to meet at Wawa next to the apartments where he lives living in an apartment without cable or anything to watch so for him each one of these movies is going to be like you know a night in hanging out so he just mentioned it again I have a feeling so we're going to bring over the DVDs to him basically making $20 but also just as a favor to the guy um, and he's getting like literally hold on I'm about to open this so he's getting all of these DVDs check this and we're gonna throw in more for him because DVDs don't really sell that easily and this guy is buying them so I might as well treat him to some extra titles that he might want to watch so we'll just fill up this thing all the way up for him all right extra titles that we gave him <coughs> cheaper by the dozen you oh think he gosh. likes that Chicago this a loon was twenty dollars when they bought it. Think about that. And then, uh, what was the other good one here? The Aviator. And we gave him all these extras. So he's gonna be stoked about this, right? Yeah, and he has this. He's gotta put it in the nice. grocery cart. He said. 
It's, this is legit. Yeah, this is from like a pharmacy or something. You know how they bring in this stuff and they stack it? Oh yeah. It's gotta go that. together together. Like Should put that one down too. Should I put this in there? It doesn't fit. Because will it go down with that? Maybe, yeah. Problem solved. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's just shut together. <laughs> that's how crazy it is. Yeah, but that's... Makes For the it big dog, he likes it. So it doesn't pop open. I don't know how they shot that, but yeah. Maybe. I mean, that's it's it. So we still got two drawers of DVDs. <laughs> this is the second DVD lot we've sold this year, though. Oh, yeah. All right, so he's messaging me about... I'm just going to give him all the DVDs in this container that rolls with them because... Honestly, DVDs are are not a big market, so it's like better than donating them to this guy. You can watch them and then give them to someone else then to donate to, you know, a thrift store that's just going to profit off of them. But that one, I'm just giving it to him. If he wants to give me an extra 10, I'll, I'll take it, but otherwise, he can just have all these, honestly. Because none of them are movies I want to watch. I should say all all the ones I wanted to watch I've seen already. So takes up a lot of space having all these. All right, he's right here. He's got a grocery cart. The only problem is he's not even going to be able to. Well, if he takes all the DVDs out of the boxes mm -hmm. and then just stacks them into the cart, he'll be able to fit them. Thank you. We're just gonna roll it though. What's up, big dog? How are you? All right, man. Hopefully you can fit them all, man. Right there, man. We got a lot. We got that's a big, good. big cord of DVDs oh, today. Cool, cool. So you want to take them out of these? Yeah. No, I can see them just like that. Okay. I'm hoping I can put them. I live literally right here. here. Well, this too is filled. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, this one first, and then put the other one in there. This guy makes good quality. Yeah. Thought you were gonna come with a with a, no, uh, this one. a grocery cart. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Wow. Okay. okay. Awesome. Work. Yeah. See, I, I fit them all. You like watching DVDs? Yeah. I, I don't want shit. All right, dude. I don't buy high voltage be shark tanks. What is it? Be shark tanks. Oh, but now you're set up, dude. You can watch those for the next two weeks straight. You wouldn't have been done yet. Oh, yeah. Perfect time of year for some Chanks pizza cans. Do the lab. Ah, 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 Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Let's eat these things. Gotta eat these. Do the lab. No, I'm not doing the lab anymore. Get out of my face. Let me eat these. In peace. As I said, Chank and his cousin, Matt Chankalini and his cousin, 
own this company and they make pizza cones. They come like this. It came in a freezer box and it had all these frozen cooling things on the top. So you can order it and it comes shipped like this. And then it comes with, well, you can get a whole bunch of different flavors. You can check them out on the website. It comes with this tray that you put the pizza cones on, put them in here, just like so. And then this goes in the oven so that when it comes out, they're ready to just pull off of the tray and eat them. It's not like you have to put them on their side to cook them. So I think that's a really important point uh, to make when making pizza cones. I'm just saying you would wonder how to cook them, but this is how with the tray. And this is the one Sammy ordered. I kind of forget what it is. I guess it's buff chicken pretty sure and then these are just the regular cheese uh, pizza ones and just like that ready to go in the oven I would probably just do it like two-handed but I was holding the camera with the other hand so I did it with one hand or just have the tray out already because that was a little crazy but that's how good they look wow it's steaming in there too final product Little pizza cones like that, you could just eat them right like that. It's insane. Insanely good. No way. No, they're not. Are they too hot? They're too good. They're too hot to eat. Yeah, they are. They're too I'm hot. Sad.